Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. Yet again, we are on Critical Mode, which really showed in the last episode. When we went over here to Atlantica, it just had the easiest time ever. Uh, yeah, Atlantica is completely done and has nothing to do with whatsoever with Critical Mode because it doesn't matter. It's like a nice little break. You can take a, a nice little breather and, you know, take a nap and all that jazz. In this episode, we are going to head to Hollow Bastion, a battle level 45 world, and see what's going down. Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. So it looks like there's Heartless back here in Hollow Bastion, and also the security system seems to be a little funky. I don't know what that's about. Huh, weird. Also, we can talk to Cloud. I'm not interested in what becomes of this world. Besides, you and the others should be able to, uh, should be enough to handle things. Since when don't, since when, dude? We are, of course, going to talk to the synthesizing Moogle here and hand over all of our synthesizing stuff that we received, which is actually a lot. Uh, and we can look at our recipes if we so choose. We now have the Save the Queen and the Save the King recipe, which are the best weapons that we can get for Donald and Goofy. Uh, but we don't have one for Sora yet. We can also do free development, creations, all that jazz. Whatever you want to do with synthesizing is right there. And, of course, some items if you are needing some ethers or some potions, stuff like that. I'm actually going to buy... Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I was going to say I should buy that, but I need some money. So, let's go down here to the burrow. Defeat the Heartless. This is interesting. So right off the bat, we're actually going to go ahead and switch to Wisdom Form. Oh, apparently we're going to not do that. Come on in. I have no idea what just happened. Wait just a second. What happened to this place? Didn't that Heartless look like the ones from Tron's world? Come on, just get inside. Uh-oh. They did. That was really strange. I think I was about to die and the game was like, nah. Hurry up, Sid. Give me a second. Confounded hurry. Why you? What's going on, man? Talk about your good timing. The MCP is wrecking havoc inside the computer. Not again. According to Leon, anyway. He went on over to Ansem's study to find out what all the ruckus was about. Turns out the MCP is using the data in that computer to crank out Heartless. The MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too. MCP sure doesn't know when to quit, does it? Huh. That's a computer program for you. How's Tron doing? We can't reach him. We figure he must have been forced into the game grid. And it doesn't sound like a particularly fun game either. Huh. Oh, we'll go check on Tron. Thanks, kid. We're putting together an MCP eradication program. I got a hunch. It's almost finished, too. Well, I hope your hunch is right for once. 
Listen, we're gonna need Tron's help with that Eradicator's completed. Don't sweat it. We'll make sure to tell Tron. Remember, boys, we're counting on you. Roger, roger, roger. Roger, roger, roger. All right, so we, oh, look at this shiny goodness. It almost looks like we can enter the book. We can, by the way, uh, but we're not going to just yet. The MCP is using the heartless manufacturing machine in the study. It's also taken over the town's defense system. That is not good. Uh, so the reason I used my drive gauge earlier is because I thought that actually coming into here it would reset it. It actually would have if we didn't hit anti-form. So we're going to head out into the burrow. We need to head all the way back to the computer. But it does look like, oh, we got some regular Heartless to fight. Not just uh, the ones from before, which is interesting. Uh, we can go ahead and kill these guys real quick just because the XP is actually really good. And while we're out here fighting them, the security system is here to kill you now. It is not helping you destroy the Heartless. It is going after you so keep that in mind as you go on because the mcp that can actually do more damage than the heartless can no joke so just just be careful we want to kind of avoid whatever and head in as much as we can for the most part you can pretty much avoid all of this as you can see we're kind of just oh no don't bring him to me why are you doing that goof troop oh you're such a butt dude that's okay we'll kill this morning star real quick uh, just for the, the, the quickie, quickie XP. Um, also worth mentioning that I am going to... Let's go with, instead of follow the wind, uh, we're gonna go with the good old... Where is it? I just had it. I just had it. Where is it? Oathkeeper. Uh, just so that the form lasts a little bit longer. There we go. And we have the device, decisive pumpkin. So that's gonna help us just kinda not die. Um, which is, you know, ideal. But we want to head, like I was saying, all the way back to the MCP area, which is all the way through here. So we can head into the restoration site, and then yet again, I'm just going to pop Master Form, just so that we can actually just rip through these guys. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier for us, there's no real reason to use, uh, to have our Drive Gauge available to us right now anyways, just because of the way that this world actually works. Uh, we'll get it back, basically, before any real fights uh, start to actually happen for us. So just switching to Master Form allows us to kind of go through here and uh, wreck as many of these guys as we can, just because, like, A, the experience, everything else that you can get, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Just go ahead, rip them apart, and then we'll actually just proceed. But again, any time that you can just freely use Master Form, not a terrible idea, because there is the chance that you'll get dry Orbs, especially if you know the enemy does drop dry Orbs. Usually, the bigger the enemy, the more Drive Orbs they'll actually drop, and that is, of course, how you level Drive Form. So you do want to keep an eye on that. Uh, we're actually going to cast Magnet here and just kind of just destroy these guys. Just because of the way Magnet works, it actually will just wreck people. It's so strong. Uh, but unfortunately, we did lose our master form, but that's okay because we did right there get some big drive orbs from that morning star. So again, we're just heading up here. You could have used the skateboard just to kind of get rid of all of that jazz, uh, but instead we're heading up here. I also would recommend saving just because you made it. And now that you're saved, and obviously you've already gotten this stuff, the Goal Wing Keyblade, we want to head all the way back to the castle. Now, it used to be, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we actually can get this right now. I just have to position myself exactly right. There we go, and we'll get another Frontier puzzle piece. And if you want, you can use the skateboard to go through the corridors. Again, I don't recommend it just because we do need that XP. That XP and now, of course, our drive gauge might as well just work on it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just fill it up. These enemies, like I said, do drop it. So the XP, though, we need it. We are running very, very, very low on XP at this moment. We are very underleveled for this point of the game. We're about about six levels under where we should be. But again, this is this is of course critical mode, so you're always oops, you're always going to be a little underleveled. We want to head down here though and uh, and keep these guys safe. We're actually going to cure just to, just because I can, even though we could use XP. It's just not the best idea to you know die because you tried not to. You, you know, it's just not safe. Basically, it's not safe enough. There's other there's other places where we can we can do this. Uh, unfortunately, though, this right here tends to be a uh, a pretty dangerous spot. But again, that experience that we got from those so good. So good, and we just need to watch out for the Devastator, make sure that he doesn't end up murdering us with that shot, because again, that does do a ton of damage, and then look how much we actually get from the Devastator. Sora did hit level 39, which is pretty nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and save, uh, cure them, there we go. 
uh, and then I'm going to continue on. But 930 experience from the, the big dude and uh, the Crimson Jazz in the other one, that's really, really strong. That's really good. I'm actually going to skip these for the most part, just because these enemies are so dangerous. I don't really want to keep fighting them. And we're just going to head towards here, through the door, right into Ansem's study. Grosh, it's only us! You can't talk to, you can't talk to Tron if this room gets taken over. Did you check in with Sid? Uh-huh. And the Eradicator? It's almost done. Great. Squall? Say, Leon, why don't you go work with Sid? I have this place under control. What? Are you sure? All by yourself? What are you gonna do? Heal us? Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, it's all yours. Uh, okay. How's Tron? We still can't get in touch with him. Maybe you guys should give it a shot. No, we'll go talk to him in person. Then I have a favor to ask. When you find Tron, can you tell him to come to the IO Tower? That's where we'll upload the MCP Eradication Program. The IO Tower? Got it. That was the place we couldn't get to before last time we were there. Thanks, and watch your back. You got it, my dude. And we get the Sleeping Lion Keyblade. Well balanced with strength and magic, increasing maximum ground-based combos by one. It helps to level uh, dry your Valor form, by the way. We'll be there soon, Tron. But before we access into there, we're gonna go ahead and grab this puzzle piece to this new room that entered. Ooh, we get another a sunset puzzle piece. And we can actually go through into this area. We were actually never here before. This is the heart, Heartless Manufactory uh, that we just saw in that cinematic actually opened. Right here, we can go ahead and grab a Cosmic Chain, which is actually really, really great. Greatly increases fire, blizzard, and thunder resistance, and greatly increases defense. That is something that you should throw onto Sora immediately. It's actually really, really good. Uh, and potentially uh, even better than the Gaia Belt, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Maybe not. It, maybe not. Uh, definitely better than the Fyrica Bangle. Uh, so we're going ahead. We'll throw that on him. Now he's got the Cosmic Chain, so he's nice and strong. Uh, and, of course, there is one more puzzle piece that we can get right here, which is the Daylight Puzzle Piece. That's actually all that you can get, but you can see how cool this room looks. Uh, but that's, those are the only two things that you can get right now. Uh, and then we can actually just head this way into Ansem's study. And uh, I recommend coming back this way and using the save point before you even go into the computer. Let's talk to Aerith. Help Tron until the program's done. Don't worry, I'll handle things here. You got it. Can we examine this? Does it do anything? Does it, okay, I wasn't sure. So now that we're all saved and ready, we can, of course, examine this and then go see Tron. Let's access the computer and finally get to the pit cell and see what is going on in Space Paranoids. That is quite a bit of Heartless. Gorge! Hope Tron's okay. Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great! The terminal works! Let's go! Let's go to the game grid. Okay, but like, I'd really rather not. All right, fine, let's do it. Let's access the computer. We are going to go to the light cycle, which is exactly where we need to go to hopefully find Tron. Finished? Would be, if it weren't for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I'll show you who's old. Done. Yeah. There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. Be on your guard. Run! 
Careful! Watch out! Hold on! We got you, Tron. Don't you worry about a thing, honey bun. Alright, so we need to defeat all of the Heartless, which actually shouldn't be too bad, as long as, you know, we're not awful at this game. Uh, which, unfortunately, I am. So, we'll see what ends up happening. Can we defeat these guys as quickly as possible? Obviously, these Devastators should be your priority, just because of the amount of damage that they are capable of doing to you is intense. Like camping, or the circus. Uh, so we want to see if we can get out of here and hopefully be able to cast Cure Up. Okay, cool. We were able to get that off. I was actually a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to get that Cure Up, but, uh, we can because we're so strong. Uh, uh, granted, we did lose out on a ton of experience, uh, by doing that, but that's okay. We are going to just go ahead and whip these guys into shape. Keep an eye on your reaction command so that you can use Quick Blade if you have it up, uh, because that actually does a ton of damage as well. Just like that, we already defeated all the Heartless. You really saved me. Don't mention it. What's going on here? The MCP is ready to wage all-out war against the users. What's been happening on the outside? Well, there's this machine for making Heartless. It's gone totally berserk. The town's control system is having problems, too. But Sid's putting together a, a program that can derez the MCP. Once we pick it up at the I.O. Tower, he thinks he can use it to stop the MCP for good. Let's try it! Great! So who's this Sid? Uh, he's a friend of ours. Leon, Merlin, Aerith, Yuffie. They're all on the outside worrying about you, Tron. I must have a lot of user friends. That program ought to be done by now, don't you think? To the tower! Let's go! Alright. Uh, and of course, we're gonna put Tron in. We're actually going to keep Donald in as well, because again, that, uh, that Duck Flare is just so damn strong. We're gonna go ahead and save real quick. And as soon as we are done, we are going to head out here. Because there is, uh, some more stuff that we can do now in the canyon and whatnot. We've been here before, we've seen all of this. Uh, I would also recommend, I did not turn Tron's auto limit off, unfortunately, but I do recommend doing that, uh, as I always do, because you don't want that to get in the way of really important reaction commands, um, by accidentally using somebody's limit when you didn't need to. It's just also a huge waste of MP. Now, there is a skateboard here if we wanted to grab that, but we actually don't. We're gonna skip that for now, and we're gonna continue up this way. It's actually pretty important um, that, as I've said numerous times lately, uh, that XP is gained whenever you can. Just because we are so low level, and these guys really, really can just rip through us, man. That is just the way that the game is designed uh, on critical mode, is always these guys are going to be able to rip through you. So, the more strength you have, the more access to all of your abilities, the better. Speaking of which, Goofy just hit level 40, which is which is great. Uh, the more the more levels he has, the better. Um, so I want to make sure that we grab these, even though it's not totally needed, because the Devastators actually do drop those those uh, miraculous, miraculous drive orbs, those big ones there. Uh, now is not a, a a horrible time either to be using things like. Uh, uh, master form and whatnot, so you can get more experience for those. But for the first time ever, we are going to go to the IO Tower. I guess it's technically not the first time, because we have been here, but this is the first time that we get to, like, fully explore it. Uh, so we need to defeat all of the Heartless and head for the I.O. Tower. Uh, this, of course, is, like, the entryway where we fought the boss last time we were here. Uh, we need to be careful yet again, because we really don't want to use that limit command setup. We just don't. Uh, there's no, there's no need to, to use that at all. Uh, what we do want to do, though, is as soon as these next guys spawn in, which is going to be, uh, a Devastator and a couple of the easy Heartless, um, we want to be ready to use Magnet, just in case. Now, I am not going to use it just because we don't actually need it right now, right this second, uh, but it will be important in one, one second where, unfortunately, we're going to have three, yeah, three Devastators come in at one time, uh, which is quite, quite a problem. So right there, we're going to cast that Magnet spell, uh, and unfortunately, oh no, 
Okay, woo, that was close. Uh, I was a little worried that we were going to lose Sora there, but we didn't because Sora is the bee's knees. And we're going to go up here and hopefully be able to finish off this Devastator. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. Look at these. Look at all these Devastators, man. So many. Uh, we are, of course, going to launch back into them. Look at that. Look at how much damage that pumpkin, decisive pumpkin Keyblade actually does. And then, of course, we'll dodge these. Uh, you could, of course, use Reflect as well. Um, Reflera, I should say. Which will do a ton of damage back to these Devastators. Um, if I can get it off, which unfortunately I wasn't able to. But that's okay, because we do have Donald with us. Uh, who can, of course, just heal us back up. If need be. Uh, right there is actually when I should have casted uh, Reflera, but I did not. And that's okay, we defeated them all. And we are very close to hitting level 40 ourselves. So let's go over here real quick, and I want to see if we can just, boom, get them all up, just like that. And now we can continue, finally, to the IO Tower Communications Room. Warning. User control is terminated indefinitely. <sighs> no good. Leon, let me try. This is your final warning. Stop at once. Bon appetit. Don't talk with your mouth full. What? What are you loading? Nothing's come in yet. Leon, come on! There. All right. What's it like? This is very strange. That's my Spark Huh? There's a power booster for me. And flight routines for the Solar Sailor. Meaning, we're set? Well, like you users say, we won't know till we give it a try. We'll need a sailor to reach the MCP, so let's get to the simulation hangar. And Tron learned a new ability. Alright, Tron. Go, Tron. It's your birthday. Go, Tron. No? Okay. Uh, so let's actually see what he ended up getting for... Oh, that's Sora. Uh, for an ability. So he got Thunder Boost, MP Haste. Ooh, MP Haste. How strong. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really use any of these because... Well, you can't. Uh, but that's okay. We could just unequip his Auto Limit because we don't really need that. Uh, but we still don't have any uh, we can't actually do anything here like i can't use thunder boost or anything that's okay uh we'll just we'll just have to deal with that uh and now we can uh continue on you can save if you so choose but there hasn't really been anything that's totally happened yet oh uh, except for those devastator fights let's save all right so we've saved now we can head outside and uh i do recommend as always fighting the heartless that do appear while they aren't like a totally big deal uh it is just worth it to go in here and be like ah magnet spells and hopefully be able to suck a bunch in and be able to damage them as much as you can we're gonna cast another magnet spell uh and you'll notice that i will be using magnet all the time it is the one of honestly the most powerful spells that we have not because of the damage that it does uh even though it does do a lot of damage but the fact that it just controls everything which really really helps out on this difficulty uh, so I really enjoy that right over here we are going to be ready to cast another magnet spell because these guys will actually come in kind of close together and they can ruin your day uh, because of these now the way magnet works and I don't know if I fully explained this but it actually does damage when 
enemies enter and re-enter it. So if you're doing a combo that pushes an enemy out and then Magnet grabs them again, that is additional damage that is being done. And it can actually add up super fast. Now, we have not been down here, so let's go down this way. This is the simulation space paranoids. Uh, and these sentry bots still work the way that they do in the real world as well. Um, which means that you can use their sparkle ray and all that jazz to, to end whatever is around you. But we don't really need to do that right now. Instead, we can continue over here and use the Solar Sailor. Solar Sailor? Yeah, the Solar Sailor. Right there, we got a puzzle piece. It's good for us. We can also talk to Donald and Goofy and Tron. Do you hear that? The Solar Sailor moves on waves of light. If it's too heavy, it'll slip off the waves and eventually fall. The view is great, but I feel like a sitting duck for the enemy. Oh, did not mean to do that. My bad. My bad, team. My bad. Don't step on that pad. It'll actually kick you out of here. Uh, and then we can talk to Tron. Tron, what's up, dude? What you got going on? The Solar Sailor doesn't have a defense system. The MCP isn't stupid. It'll attack the simulation. We'll have to defend it. All right. Uh, we will actually have to defend it. That's a, that's a true statement. So we're going to use Depart. You've got to keep a lookout. The MCP isn't going to just let us waltz in. So this fight can be a little bit annoying because of the small area that you actually have to fight. So what we are going to do is we are going to use setup uh, which is going to go ahead and, of course, use Tron's Limit Command Cluster Code, which will probably uh, destroy all of these guys, and then Burst Pulse, and you just want to keep doing this, and this will, of course, hopefully end these Devastators just like this. Let's see what ends up happening here. Come on, you got this. I have faith in you. Reprogram. Watch this, watch this. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, just destroyed. Oh, it's just, oh, so strong. So strong. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, just wrecked them, dude. Just wrecked them. Wrecked their booties. Now, you have to pay attention to that weight as well. Uh, because that, of course, the more Heartless that are on here, the, uh, like they said, if it gets too heavy, it'll just fall. Uh, we don't, we don't really want that. I'm gonna actually use Quick Blade here. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, Sora hit level 40. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we don't have our MP back yet, but that's okay. Uh, because we can kind of finish these guys pretty easily. And that XP that you get from doing so sure is gnarly. Uh, now, Donald is down. Uh, for the count here, so that's okay. Um, I'm actually hoping that we can get out of this, and then, if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually going to use with uh, Limit Form here, uh, which is going to be able to hopefully... Did I just use Limit Form? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm just making sure. Uh, <laughs> which will be able to... I'm actually going to use Sonic Rave here. Uh, oops, that didn't work quite as well as I wanted. Uh, let's go ahead then and use Ars Arcano, which, of course, is going to do a tremendous amount of damage uh, if I could actually, you know, play the damn game right. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, and that's that's fine. These guys will go down super easily and because of our half health uh, We are getting the experience buff uh, which is just absolutely huge for this uh, for these These guys like I was been telling you for so much so long They give almost a thousand experience uh, when you are in critical and just like that the event is over Sora learned explosion Donald learned MP Hester which is phenomenal for Donald The MCP is straight ahead. Time to settle things for good. Look at all these chests we have. Um, so this is Christmas. Right there we get an Aura Calcum Plus yet again. Another AP boost. We have so many AP boosts at this time. And we have some big chests over here which will contain a central computer core map. And of course... Hey, oh, 
The MCP is well protected. First we'll have to hack his defense. Then we can start deleting him until he's erased. He's only data after all. Okay. Wow, that's kind of sad. And a Cosmic Arts, which is insane! Highly increases strength and magic and extraordinarily increases maximum AP. These things are seriously some of the strongest, strongest armors you can have in the entire game. Uh, so, or not the armors, uh, accessories. Uh, so we are absolutely going to equip our dear friends, our dear friend Sora, with in a Cosmic Arts. Um, I think we're okay. I think we're okay going forward. Let's go ahead and save. So we do have some fights coming up. We can talk to Donald. If we just defeat the MCP, the outside city should return turn to normal. If we don't do something, Leon and the others don't stand a chance. The time's finally come to settle things with the MCP. The MCP still has lots of minions. Be careful. Indeed. So let's go challenge the MCP. Who is that? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs. Your time is up. Prepare for de-resolution. Now we have to fight Sark himself. Actually, this is a really, really easy fight. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and cast Magnet here just so we can get rid of these. Now, you also want to pay attention to your reaction command. And Goofy hit level 41. You want to pay attention to your reaction commands, uh, Zone Guard. If you can do Zone Guard, you'll actually knock back what Sark throws at you, and you'll you'll hit him back. So I'm going to get ready for it, and then Disc Strike, and that will actually stun him. And then you can go in for even more damage. And I'm serious, it, like ruin Sark. Uh, he is very weak, and just like that, you beat Sark. Space Paranoids is done. No, I'm just kidding. You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Uh, we would have made a great team. Now for the MCP. This thing is the MCP? That's it. Ugly, isn't it? Tron, don't you understand? We don't need users. We've advanced. They're superfluous. Be a part of me, and together the world will be ours to control. MCP, you still don't get it, do you? Sark! Sark! All my functions are now yours! Sark wants to play! And now we have to face the MCP and Giant Sark, who is not really a threat in this fight. Sark isn't anyways. The MCP and the wall that you can see spinning can actually ruin your day. Uh, it does just a tremendous amount of damage. So you want to focus Sark's legs. You absolutely have to do that. Focus his legs and then just lay into his head and do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, we missed that by like barely even barely even a little bit of health uh but we can just come in and finish them off real quick that will actually uh allow us now to do this on impeded so we have to wait for the wall to stop spinning and then as soon as it stops spinning we are going to attack it uh and all you need is one combo as soon as you do a combo you will actually break the wall and then you can do the reaction command delete now you want to mash that triangle button as much as humanly possible so that you can of course defeat him as quickly as possible. It's the only way to do damage against him. Now, we need to get ready for him to drop these, uh, which is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. That beam does about more, a little bit more, I would say 75% of your health every single time that it actually uh, uh, is able to get off, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, but we'll, that's okay, we can go ahead and do this again. Now, if Sark hits you or he stops spinning, or starts spinning, you will not be able to do this reaction command anymore, just like that. So, unfortunately, we got knocked out of it. 
And we also need to be careful of those beams that I was telling you about because those beams will actually ruin your day. But we're actually going to go back on Sark here uh, and we are going to do some damage to him. Get him out of the fight as quickly as possible uh, because this way we can actually focus on the MCP without being having to deal with Sark, uh, you know, kind of slowly coming after us because he's so slow. Uh, so now we're just going to wait. I also grab that puzzle piece during this fight. If you don't grab it during the fight, you have to come back later and grab it. Um, and it's just, oops, and it's just not fun to do that. Oh my god, break the damn wall. Thank you. Jeez. And now we can go ahead and triangle his face as much as humanly possible. Uh, which hopefully will bring him down to his final bar. Probably not. Uh, we need to get out of this as quickly as possible. Go ahead and cast that so that Tron has some more health. And then we just need to stay out of those beams. And again, he's going to start casting them, uh, just like that, on the walls. And we just need to be careful. Don't even attack the walls while this is happening. Um, unfortunately, Sark is back up, so we need to deal with that. Okay, cool. Uh, high climb. If we... Oh, so we can high climb as well to actually be able to, to get out of here. I'm going to high potion on Sora real quick. Uh, he's going to use that disc. We just want to avoid that. And then, of course, we can jump back onto his face. Uh, but that disc does kind of act as a boomerang, so watch out for that. And then we can head back into him. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to beat him in one phase because of the way that uh, I was positioned before. But you can use the reaction command high climb, uh, like I was about to do before I couldn't do it anymore, um, on that wall to actually get over it and then kind of avoid it. And then we're going to jump right into delete yet again and hopefully not be... We're probably not going to be able to finish him on this one. Uh, probably going to need to use it on another one, unfortunately. Wait for the wall to stop spinning. Hopefully it stops uh, with a hole so we don't have to go and find one. Obviously, the more holes you create, the faster the fight will go. And this should be the end of the MCP. Look at that. Space Paranoids is done. And we get our final Reflect Element upgrade. We now have Reflect. I see Tron has a silly side, too. I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. You? Maybe we better not try that. Oh, how about it, guys? Singing Tron? Dancing Tron. Sound good? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash... Sora, Donald, Goofy, and all the users out there... Thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. You taught me what friendship is truly all about. And I'll never forget it. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. Isn't this what users do when they're sorry to say goodbye? Uh, it's a first for me. Of course, Tron. It's like a promise that we'll see each other again real soon. Okay. Well then. I promise. settling down in town the only heartless left anywhere are the local variety and it looks like there are fewer than before now if we can just get those three back in one piece
You're here! Welcome back! How's the town? A-OK! -okay. Not a single trace of the MCP, either. Everything's back to normal. We made it. Hey, why the long face? What happened? Craig just disappeared. And he promised we'd see him again. Craig! What's happening? Greetings, friends. System is up and ready for user input. Draw on! Stay in touch. Yeah. And bring up boy! Hey, stop that. It tickles. Tron is ticklish? How about this? Please stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. Wait, wait, just a moment. I want to show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can see the town back when it was first built. That's right. I remember now. Just like the old days. Hmm. I'd be fascinated to ascertain as to when the town got such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. You know, this town had another name once. Hmm? Radiant Garden. And we get the trophy, Electric Spark. And a new episode was added to Radiant Garden. Which is now called Radiant Garden! Oh my god, it is... Look at, look at, you can still see... Oh, I just, I just love it! I just love it so much! Oh my god! We are going to be turning, returning to Radiant Garden. We're actually going to be returning there right now. We are going to return to Merlin's house because in the next episode, we are going to head to 100 Acre Wood and complete everything that we can do there. I actually recommend that because there's a lot of items and a lot of useful things that we can get from Hunter Acre Wood. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Space Paranoids, the final time we get to go there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, before I end, though, we should, of course, like always, look at the Jiminy's Journal. Uh, because that's also always pretty important when we're talking about Space Paranoids. Now, we did miss a puzzle piece. There is a puzzle piece that we can go ahead and get in Space Paranoids, which is important. Uh, but maps, we're done. Treasures, we're done. We got all the treasures. The album uh, is pretty much done. Farewell Tron, all that jazz. Uh, the story is done here. We did everything we could do. Uh, and, of course, the characters. So, the only thing left for us here in this world is uh, Light Cycle. We have to try that again. And... Uh, uh, and some pieces and that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Showing up on screen right now is some links to other videos that I have uh, the playlist for Kingdom Hearts and of course Patreon.com slash missile dine online for for just a dollar a month You can get early access to these videos up to 24 hours to 48 hours early Thank you again for watching and remember never give up never surrender to the MCP